In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to answer work pass questions on trigonometry. Now, trigonometry is one of the consistent questions you will meet in your work pass question, and you need to understand how to be able to attempt it with your calculator without solving anything. Now, this is going to help you gain time. Now, the first thing you need to do, okay, um, you don't really need to do anything here. So, let's start. Now, it says if tan x is equal to 3 over 4, Four and um, zero is less than x is less than ninety. Evaluate cosine x over two sine x. Now the first thing you're going to do is, if tan x is three over four, that means um, you now know that uh, x. That means from here x is equal to tan inverse of what three over four. So let's evaluate this and get our answer. So this would be shift. Um, tan inverse of 3 over 4. Now, this is going to give us uh, 36.8698 and so on. Now, we want to evaluate what it's giving um, above. So, we're going to press cos answer divided by uh, because our x was in 38, 36 point something. So now we're going to press two sign answer and we'll close our bracket. Okay, so it says our final answer is two over three. And as easy as that, you should be able to solve any trigonometric question you encounter. Now, please, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, please hit the subscribe button because um, we're going to be doing several videos. So we want you to get these videos when we release it. And when you click on the subscribe button, don't forget to click on the bell and select all notifications so that you will be among the first person to get this video. Okay, so um, the second question says, uh, if cos x is this, okay, this is an equation. So it says if cos to 3 alpha x plus 28, close the bracket, alpha equal to, so we have sign, open the bracket, then um, we say 2 alpha x plus 48. I close my bracket and I press my shift and my solve. And I say equal to. So it will solve the question. And you can see as easy as that, it has dropped the final answer for me. Now, if I'm to solve the question on my own, it might take me some time, but because of the calculator, now, I now know that 2.8 degree is the answer. Okay, so the third question says that we should evaluate this. Okay. So, in order to evaluate this, it says cos 65 over sine 25 plus sine 35 over cos 55. All I'm going to do is bring up uh, my fraction button. So, I'll put cos this will be 65. Uh, close my bracket. That's my down arrow key. This will be sine 25. And I'll close my bracket, push out my arrow. So and I'll put my plus. I'll bring up my fraction again. And I'll do my sine 35. And I'll close my bracket. Press my down arrow key. And I'll put my cos 55. And I'll close my bracket. And as easy as that, I'll press equal to. And it tells me that my final answer is what? 2. So my answer is 2. Now, if I'm to solve this question, there is every tendency I could get it wrong if I'm not smart. So, but with the calculator, it saves me time and saves me um, accuracy. Okay, the next question says um, evaluate sine 210. So, just add it up sine 210, close the bracket, plus cos 210. Okay. So, I bet you it's going to leave your answer in sort. And as easy as that, you don't need to start looking for the special angles. It will solve it for you. So, our final answer, it's um, minus 1 plus 3. Now, notice we don't have our answer here. So, because it says our answer is um, minus 1, it should be minus bracket 1 plus root 3 over 2. Now, I'm going to show you this again. Notice, 
Notice the minus is not in front of the one. So it's minus everything. So you need to understand that. Now, when we have something like this, all we need to do is open the bracket. We have minus one, minus root three, all over. That will be um, two. Okay. So from here, you just have to know that our, our correct answer here is um, D. So our final answer here is D. Okay. So now take me to the next question, which says we should evaluate dates. Now to evaluate tan 60, so I'll bring up my fraction button. This will be tan 60, bracket minus 1. Bring my arrow key down. Sorry, I need to go up. I think I've made some errors. Minus 1. I'll bring my arrow key down. And I have 1 minus tan 30, and I'll close my brackets. So it tells me that my answer is what? Root 3. And as easy as that, I know that my answer is C. Now, this is exactly how you could use it to solve several questions. Now, let's attempt the last one so you get to understand it very well. So it says if cos x is equal to 1 over root 2. So now... What do we do here if cos x cos x is equal to 1 over root 2? That means x is going to be cos inverse of 1 over root 2. So let's perform this. Um, shift uh, cos inverse of 1 divided by root 2. And I'll close my bracket. So I think push my arrow out and close my bracket. So this is going to be 45. So our x is actually 45. So with that, knowing our x, so it says evaluate this. So we're going to press 2 tan 45 or we say tan answer plus root 2. Push my arrow out. Sign. Sorry. Sign 45. Since we know our x is 45. And with this, it will drop your answer for you. Our final answer, it's um, 3. So the correct answer here is going to be A. So please, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. And please, go down to your past questions. Pass the small trigonometric questions with the calculator. If you have any question, you can drop it on the comment section. And please don't forget to like, don't forget to share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.